because forever suggests he's going to last forever. Well, we've made them into icons yeah. due to the publicity we've given them. Hi guys! So today I am visiting a bit of a controversial art gallery in Boston. I got a chance to interview and hear the perspective of David Stokel, who is actually the artist of the following paintings and pictures you're about to see. If you listen to David Stokel's explanations behind the artwork, you will understand it a little bit better and hopefully learn something new and something interesting. So enjoy the following art. It looks a lot like James Charles. So there's Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger. It's like a World War II pilot. I mean, here he looks like a gangster. Yeah, I mean, he was a little guy. Yeah, I mean, and, but I, it's like, Painted my hands and then just scrolled it down like you know he's a murderer. Like it's like blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the idea. Yeah. Boston's own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, this is the Boston Marathon bomber. And that's what inspired the whole lot, because I felt he was getting undue publicity by being on the cover of Rolling Stone. So yeah. it's really, I'm not worshipping these guys. Yeah, like I'm, a pop star when they come on. Right, and so my, um, this is a criticism. Yeah. And here's something that might interest you. I'm epileptic. And I had painted this, and then I had this seizure, and I smudged it by accident. Oh, so I, that's why it's dirty. And I thought, well, I don't have any other evidence of my epilepsy except for smudge painting, so... But it looks, it doesn't look, you know what I mean, it looks like it fits. It looks right. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, came from, it came naturally there, so... And I didn't have the heart to change it anyway. No. And so here's a 60s icon, um, Charles Manson. And you know, he actually didn't physically kill anybody, but he inspired a lot of other yeah. people to do it. It's craziness. And so, and so I made them all into big stamps because that was sort of the, you know, Elvis is in a stamp. Yeah. And that's given him iconic status. And the idea was I would give these guys equal iconic status as a criticism. Hence, uh, Hitler. It was an irony on words because forever suggests he's going to last forever, and um, yeah. So it's not. It's so it's all criticism of, of how we're treating these people, like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like we might as well be doing that. Well, we've made them into icons yeah. due to the publicity we've knows given them. Who he is. Forget the, that. The marathon winner. Exactly. Nor the man, nor the woman. That's a gay couple. It yeah. has to be anyway. And while it's going on, a little bit of it's cropped behind the wood there. And then the door was uh, in the trash. Uh -huh. And so I figured it was kind of symbolic. 
Yeah. Of the, the trash, you know, the, the destruction. Yeah. A, 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 a lava stone that was, it was a tree. And when the lava reached the, the, the tree, the tree cooled it down, it solidified and made of stone. And then I did the nude shot. And then I married several pictures together. So, and it's a pattern that you don't notice from a distance, but then you come in and then you realize what it is. So it's got the sex element, uh, which always wakes people up a little bit. So oh, I yeah. figured it would go. It would go good with that kind of, and she dressed up in like vintage. Yeah, yeah. so she's got the period clothes. Oh, okay. And uh, then this is a, this picture is of that picture at the tea stand in the same position. A picture of so, where the picture was. Yeah, I see what right, you did. Yeah. yeah. I, I took that and I put it at the station and photographed okay. that. Barbie on McDonald's cross, so I think that's supposed to represent like corporate greed, do you know what I mean? So yeah. This was up for three months in the environment, you know, in the rain and snow. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was up there for a long time. It's a little bit, you know, it took a beating over three months. Wow. And I have other related pieces in my, in my uh, Yeah, I saw some of Barbie thing over here, right? Oh, yeah, the McCrucifix. Yeah. That's a. Uh, a McDonald's, no, it's a sports Barbie dressed in a McDonald's Barbie's outfit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sports Barbie could extend it on. So it's a woodcut, and then I've changed Barbie's outfits because the sports Barbie could extend her arms, but whereas the McDonald's Barbie was just sort of Oh, they always counter. go like this. Yeah, 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 they don't go that way. But the sports yeah. Barbie was, you know, yeah, do the, yeah, yeah, able to do everything. And so that was there, but someone stole her. Uh, Occupy Boston, oh, and these oh, were up at Occupy Boston, and I kind of made a little bit of my own thing, and I supported the libraries. So mine were all about supporting the libraries. You know, if you're going to give the banks a break, give the libraries a break, because they're short on money, and it's been in rough shape. But um, yeah, there's a few books missing. Someone wrote on the Dr. Seuss uh, the Grinch piece. And, um, are you still, are you looking, and then I had to put Bill O'Reilly upside down because I thought he had things the wrong way. So, uh, and there's a couple books missing, but well, let me get you some old wine. Thank you. Thank you for walking around and check it out.
hope you got to learn a little bit more about David's artwork and I hope you enjoyed his little tour and the snippets of the interview that I got. Click that subscribe button if you're new here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.